Good afternoon, folks and family. Hello again, this is Raymond X the Prophet, yours truly. And this is your Skywatcher forecast for this afternoon for Wednesday, July 6, 2022, 12.22 p.m. here in this apartment complex. And it's 89 degrees outside right now, cloudy skies. Feels like 99 because of the relative humidity. So here we go again with another Skywatcher forecast from me. Doing two more loads of laundry. I thought I was going to get some laundry done yesterday, but mom wanted to order the groceries previously. So the groceries came in yesterday. I had to put all that away. And mom wanted to take some lunch. So she did that. And I started the rain. So I had to put that off until today. So I went ahead and got that done. Got about another 20 minutes or so before this, these two dryers are done and head back to the house. Fold and put this stuff away. So looking here at the north, northern skies from the inside the laundromat and this is what we have going on right now these clouds and so I was working on my ministry uh, yesterday I went to my prayer closet and talked to the Lord and asked if he had anything he wanted to say and so I guess he didn't he waited until later on so I went ahead and filled in the rest of the page on my journal with songs and so I figured, well, I'll just get a head start on today's ministry. So I sat down at the desk and started playing worship music. Next thing I know, I'm working on today's ministry, and God spe speaks to me, and I'm writing everything down as fast as I can get it. So I'm going to post this sometime. I don't know whether it'll be in the future. I'll probably be long gone before that even gets posted, but I'll post it to my friends on social media. Hopefully they'll share it with other people, maybe. We'll see. I may do a cooking with Glenn later on today if I'm up to it, if I feel okay. I may not. I know we're having uh, the Angus beef steak. Uh, we're having that, some corn, potatoes, and some other stuff. So mom got the groceries today delivered. And uh, I reimbursed her for the things I needed, some body wash, shampoo. Uh, body wash and, not shampoo, but body wash and some deodorant and some onion rings and a few other things. So I reimbursed her for that. So here we are standing in the doorway of the laundry room. I'm gonna come out here since the sun has gone beyond the clouds. This is the northern sky. I'm rotate around over here to these trees. That's the northeast. It's a quiet day today. Everybody's out here just going about their job duties or they're retired and doing their thing. So me, I'm on a VA disability pension. That's what I'm on. I still work though. They say those that don't work don't eat. Well, if I work hard at this ministry, I'm going to be fed. Anyway, so I sat down and started playing some worship music at my desk. And next thing I know, the Lord starts speaking to me. And so I stop whatever I'm doing on the current ministry and start writing this stuff down as fast as I'm getting it. And then when the worship music ended, I was able to catch up and fill in the blanks with the Bible verses and stuff. So that's how the Lord speaks to, to me through the worship songs. And it's not just any worship songs, it's just worship music in general. So I, I asked him if there's anything you want to say and he responded a little bit later. So I guess he knew I was going to sit down at my desk, try to get caught up on this ministry. I'm so far behind on making videos. I don't think I'm going to be able to make all these videos. There's no way, there's just too many of them. So I'm going to upload what I have already produced from two years ago. And hopefully you guys will be able to see this one as well. I don't know, it might be six months in the future before this gets posted. So I've got about two years backlog of videos I've already produced. Not to mention the stuff that hasn't been created or may be created. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So let's go ahead and take a look around here around the parking lot. This is this is the handicapped access ramp right here where I'm standing at. So I'm showing you a little bit of the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be the neighbor? Yeah, it's crazy going again. Raymond next to Prophet, the wise guardian, the wise protector. The unknown prophet, known only but to God. Like I said, when I got into this ministry, I didn't make friends. Didn't get into it to make friends or try to be anything great or wonderful. Just obey and listen. I know the Lord says, I know you don't believe me on things. Just trust me, Glenn. Just trust me. That's all you have to do. I know you don't believe me on things, but just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I know your future better than you do, Glenn. So I'm just trying to share a little bit with what the Lord's has told me here recently during these past two, three years. I know I'm one of the minor prophets, but in God's eyes, yeah, I guess I'm special. Anyway, 
you know, I'm, I guess I'm somebody's somebody. That's what I am. So let's get a shot there in the mailboxes and the dumpster. Any little oil spots down here in the parking lot. It's probably about the longest video I've done so far. It's so hot out here right now. I had to take in a couple of bottles of water just to cool myself off. So I'm burning up in this place. Being a diabetic and sleep apnea, along with some health issues, don't help things any. We got a new apartment manager. And I, didn't, he, I hadn't even met her face to face yet. I hadn't even talked to her on the phone. So they, they put in these new washers and dryers. They got to wash it down right now. I've already put two service calls in. I don't think they're going to do anything about the washer. So, I mean, it's, it's a loss on the company that's contracting these things out. Not a loss on me, it just makes my job a little bit harder because now that's a resource that everybody here can't use. There's 94 units in this place. I'm only one guy out of probably 100 people or so, more than likely. Okay, guys, I think I've taken enough of your time. It's probably going on about four or five minutes. I'm going to have to haul, haul this stuff back. So there you go. There's the Skywatcher forecast for this afternoon. Looks like we might be getting some rain here. I've gotten some rain here recently, not even a quarter of an inch. Uh, about a couple of days ago, I think I got over an inch, inch of rain, something like that, inch and a half. So it just comes and goes. So all I have to do is just sit there and listen to what God says and just obey him to the letter. And it goes well for me if I do that. So I don't have to write down everything he says, just those things that he wants me to share. And there's also some personal things that he tells me and I keep that to myself. Okay, folks, family, I love you all very much. Remember that God loves you and so do I very, very much. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Be careful. We just got past the holiday. I know there was a shooting uh, shooting uh, over there at Lakeland Park up in Illinois, north of Chicago. I don't know if that was a false flag or what that was going on. I have no idea. Anyway, there's been over 300 shootings this year. It's not good. So all you can do now is just pray for one another, pray for this country, pray for the leaders. Go in your prayer clause every night, set aside some time for God. I guess some people do it in the early morning as soon as they rise up. Me, I wait until everything's quiet and dark and and go do it then. Okay, I love you all very much. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. God loves you, so do I. And I'll see you again. Hopefully, if the Lord wills me so, if not, we'll meet together in heaven. Bye-bye for now. I love you. I really do.